At a time that the Kenya men's football team Harambe Stars are playing their 2025 Africa Cup of Nations AFCON qualifiers home matches in Uganda and South Africa because of a lack of a FIFA accredited stadium in Kenya, a Football Kenya Federation FKF presidential candidate Sami Kempes Owino says that proper infrastructure is a key agenda in his manifesto. We have to have infrastructure in all areas of our football. There are no infrastructures in place right now, so we need to have infrastructure in the area of youth football, in the area of coaching, in the area of referee, in the area of um, uh, scouting, in building of our leagues, uh, in all those areas. The former Harambe Stars and Gormaya player is a man on a special mission to change the state of Kenyan football. Uh, the leadership that we have now has no vision. So good governance is number one, which entails uh, you know, a, a, that you have to have an administration that is, uh, um, has a vision because we don't have a vision. So a leadership that has a vision that um, is void of corruption, that is uh, transparent, that is accountable, that is inclusive. Um, we need to establish credibility within, within the, the, the FKF administration. Born and brought up in Ziwani area in Nairobi County, Kempes played for Umeme FC senior team at the age of 14. Before he joined Luo Union Football Club, now Gormaya FC, at the age of 17. He turned out for the national men's football team Harambe Stars at the age of 18. Sami Owino then moved to the United States of America, where he graduated with a degree in electrical engineering. While in USA, his football academy, a YS soccer club based in Texas, was ranked the number one top academy. He says that he is bringing the experience to Kenyan football. I've worked in the corporate world, as I said. Um, I worked in, in, in administrative positions. And so in terms of dealing with the corporate uh, environment, I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with that. Um, and then there's the, all aspects of football I've touched into. For example, you know, I have built a, a very big, large uh, football facilities. But why does Sami Kempes Owino want to become the next Football Kenya Federation president? There's a lot of potential in this country for football to be, to be a great sport. And for me also, when I look from where I'm sitting, um, we're failing in our football and there's a lack of leadership that I think I can provide. So the fact that I've benefited from the game and the fact that there's lack of leadership and our football is failing and that I have the experience that's needed, those are the things that motivated me to come and, and vie for the presidency. Running of the mantra, Mpira Kwa Wote, an English translation of Football for All, Kempes believes he can develop women's football and give great support to the grassroots football. The number, if you look at the number of clubs that come from the grassroots relative to the ones that come from, from Nairobi, for example, or even Mombasa and major cities, the, the, the number of clubs are significantly higher. And if we ignore those grassroots clubs, then we're ignoring a huge percentage of our football. Apart from Sami Kempes Owino and his running mate Evans Kadenge, the Football Kenya Federation presidential election has attracted other seven candidates, which include FKF Vice President Doris Petra and her running mate, the outgoing FKF President Nick Mwendwa. Kakamega Homeboys Football Club Chairman Cleophas Totoshi Manula and Tuaham Barak, Muranga Seal Vice Chairman Hussein Mohamed and former Kenyan International McDonald Mariga, Gurmaya Secretary General Sam Ochola and Willis Waliaula, a former Nairobi NEC representative Chris Amimo and his running mate Anthony Makau, a former FKF CEO Barry Utieno and Lucy Kageni, and former Nyanza NEC member Tom Alila and Beryl Adhiambo. The FKF presidential elections are set for 7th of December. Chris Miguambo, K24 TV.